Okay, so hey guys, let us uh, continue with our tutorial on the partitioning of a merge sort um, linked list. And uh, yeah, we have our function over here. If you saw the slides previously uh, shown, you understand what this function does without even thinking about it because I just showed you what it does. It splits the uh, linked list into two different parts and uh, returns them to the previous called function. Um, so you have a node pointer fast a node pointer slow which I showed you the fast pointer and the slow pointer and if head is equal to equal to null and head is equal of next is equal to equal to null which means you have nothing to point to and you have nothing next to go to then you execute this and you forget about what's next um, so if that is the case if the head is null then you say that uh, star front is equal to head and star back is equal to null as you have seen previously uh, this is reference to ampersand a and this is reference to ampersand b so whatever you give the values over here whatever you give the value to star front will be given to a and whatever you give the values to star back will be given to b so now over here you're assigning uh, ampersand b uh, uh, sorry b as null and you're assigning uh, a as head so yeah that's how this works so if this is not the case as you saw in our tutorial in our presentation this is not the case and you move to the next element you go over here so you assign slow to the slow to head and fast to head of next and then if while fast is not equal to null you go to the next element fast equal to fast of next and if fast is not equal to null you go to and you move slow and fast both by one and then you give the value of a and b so you give the value of head to a and you give the value of uh, slow of next to b and, and slow of next as you saw points to the middle of the linked list and here this is kind of extremely awesome because you are dereferencing the pointer over here see in here if you go to this particular element or this particular thing you'll see that now right now uh, it's pointing to um, well one right now right slow is pointing to one and slow of next is pointing to five so what you're doing over here is you're saying the slow of next is null which means that the pointer is cut off which actually cuts both of the link list in two parts and now when you start from here there is no pointer to point to five and therefore you your link list only is till about here which is kind of awesome and it gets the job done so yeah if if you want me to print the entire thing let, i'll show you how it works um you see if you're sorting four three one five and seven you go through four three one then you go to five seven then you go to four three in this and then you go to one four seven three five and seven so this is what you get up to um so yeah that's how that works so what you should understand after this is this this function is used for partitioning the linked list and that's all it does so once you partition the linked list and the changes are reflected in a and b over here what you can do next is call this function again recursively and pass in ampersand a and ampersand b now ampersand a and ampersand b after the first partition are 4 3 1 and 5 and 7 and b is 5 and 7 so you pass in 4 3 1 the head of the 4 3 1 that is ampersand a over here again and it goes to the partition function again and then it's it is split into four three and one and then you go through the same process again and again and again until you get single elements uh, which you see over here uh, single elements like this four three one five and seven and once you get single elements you come back and you iterate through this particular this a particular function merge merge the lists so according to the merge sort um, algorithm, the next uh, logical step to do is merge the list together which we have generated. And in order to do this, let's see a particular example which you see over here. Yeah, here. So uh, now that we have uh, partitioned our linked list into individual parts like 4, 3, 1, 5 and 7, we have to combine them together. And, and if you know the basic uh, gist of it, you know that 4 and 3 are compared and you check for um, if if this value is greater than this value you consider 3 first and then you consider 4 similarly you check between these two and you check if 3 is less than 1 if it's not you select 1 and then you uh, go 1 forward but there is nothing to go to 
So you uh, put three over here and then you go to four. And similarly, if you have five and seven, they already sorted, so five and seven. And then you check between one and five. One is small, you put one, you increment by one. Three and five, three is small, you put three. Four and five, four is small, you put four. Five is put then, then seven is put. So that's how this entire thing works. And in order to do this with the help of a linked list, uh, let's go to the particular code and see. So now let's look at the merge list function. So merge list function takes two linked lists and what its job is, is to combine the linked list together into one particular linked list. So it will take two linked lists and combine it and form one linked list. So how does it do that? In what fashion does it do that? The same as we saw over here. So these two particular lists will be taken and will be combined into by checking each element with each other and seeing if they fit each other's criteria. If it's a descending uh, linked list or it's an ascending uh, sorted linked list or, or either way. So let's take a look at the function. So uh, the first thing we do is we define a merge list node pointer uh, which is uh, initialized to null and um, in this case whenever you uh, call this function either a will be null or b will be null after the immense amounts of calls you're going to make so you need to check if a is null return b if b is null return a because they will be individual elements as we see over here four uh, three four and one here this is alone right this is a one one isolated number or uh, element in the linked list so that so you will return the next one so that's how that works um and 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 if you find that both the elements are null, that is not physically possible because it is not. The, the program is implemented in such a way. So if you find that a particular error, then there is some problem with your code. Um, if A of data is less than B of data, as I, as I said, if 3 is less than 1, you get 3, right? So in this case, if, if 3 is this value and 4 is this value, we'll implement the else function. And in the else function, you have you'll you'll take the b node and you will put it equal to merge list, and then you will say that merge list of next will be equal to merge list of a and b of next, which will in turn return its own set of merge lists, which uh, you know you will understand. So once you get to the end of the list, you you will either return a single character and then you attach everything. So if you have worked with um, recursive elements or recursive functions you understand how this is actually functioning merge list of next will be called we will call this particular function and this particular function will return its own node pointer which is a merge list and yeah that's all that is to this particular function and if you don't understand this i encourage you to take a piece of paper and draw the function stack for each of these lines so yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial and if you found this helpful, please like and share and subscribe and uh, yeah, if you have any uh, new ideas for algorithmic tutorials or whatever you want to cover, leave a comment in the description and I'll get to that. So thanks for watching guys, uh, see you later and yeah, let's just run the program one more time and this is how it runs. Uh, so thanks for watching and see you later.